Today we sit down and chat with Spencer Reif, our 2021 Go Parts champion. What's up, our 2021 Go Parts champion, Spencer Reif? How you doing, man? Not too bad. Doing pretty good. I like your hat and your shirt. <laughs> yeah, they're a great company. Let's talk about it, man. You were you're the champion. You literally kicked butt this year. You won a lot of races. And just, you know, I just want to hear about it and tell me about your team and uh, what it means to be the champion of our, basically, you're the, you're the first time champion of our GoPart series. Yeah, um, we've had a great season. Um, you know, I couldn't do it without my team. I mean, I work weird hours and, it, you know, it, I've always was told it takes a village, you know, to run, run a race program and still have a regular life because, I mean, racing is a second time job. I mean, you're working 40, 50 hours at your job then another 40, 50 hours in the shop, you know, not getting paid, you know, just go out there and do what you love. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of people behind me. And, uh, you know, I couldn't do it without any one of them. I mean, my dad and mom, first and foremost, you know, they uh, they brought me here and, you know, following me and helped me, you know, pursue my genes and uh, all that. Yeah. And uh, we, we, we raced a lot. We had some up and down, a few up and downs where we didn't get the finishes and result we wanted, but we also had a lot of ups, you know, uh, winning. We, we won at like four or five different tracks this year, traveling, you know, trying to help our sponsors out that help us out, you know, getting their advertisement and, um, you know, couldn't do, do it without each and every one of them. Yeah. I mean, we know that, you know, we're happy to have you on board with GoParts, but, you know, since you, you have an opportunity right now, are there any other sponsors that you'd like to give a shout out to right now? Uh, yeah. Um, maxed out trucks you know they've they've been on you know since the very, my very first year where we weren't you know very successful just starting out um you know we would just be happy just to make it to the racetrack you know they've been behind me first and foremost for you know a long time you know you got valvoline uh you know they they help us out a lot with all of our uh uh oils and stuff like that um there's also uh BME, you know, Bombmore and Enterprises, he uh, builds a power plant, you know, for us every year and keeps us very competitive and all that stuff. We also got a few other shops uh, like Iceberg, their snow, uh, snow company, you know, the flavored ice, you know, you can get at carnivals and stuff. They helped us out a lot. Um, Diamond Muffler, they're another great sponsor behind us. Uh, we got um, Toner's Jewelry. Uh, uh, PBS Design, Beyond the Fold, um, Lisa Burlington, Joshua Ali, who, you know, they take amazing photos of us and we send them to you and all, and all of our other sponsors. Um, Go Parts, obviously, um, couldn't have done it without them, especially, you know, trusting us and putting their name out there and then helping us with our race program and getting all that situated. Yeah, you guys did a great job. We were super uh, proud to have you on board, and we might have to get you a bigger decal for next year because you you, you were definitely winning some races. Um, tell me about the competition out there. I know where you are in the Midwest. There's there's a lot of competition, and it's pretty fierce. So the fact that you pulled off as many wins as you did, pretty impressive, man. Yeah, you know, some of those nights it was just, you know, we were in a spot to where it would be good and, you know, instead of lucky or however that – line goes um you know then we got you know a competition where i've i've only been racing for four years um and i've been racing and i'm racing against people who've done it for you know 14 to 22 years i mean it just you know they have all experience and every time i go out there i'm learning you know something whether it's you know washing the track doing a different setup of my car see if it works and you know a lot of it you know is we have a lot of respectful clean drivers out here and you know putting your trust, you know, running door to door and, you know, coming centimeters with, you know, racing hard and not touching, you know, it says a lot about the competition out here. I mean, we, we went to, you know, four or five different tracks and, you know, it's, it's the toughest competition around no matter what track you go to, whether it's, you know, one of our hometown CMS track, you know, Central Missouri Speedway, or we go up north or south, you know, three or four hours to Bethany or down south to Springfield. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. The The competition out here is remarkable and it's very tough. Yeah, well, uh, you, you made it. I hate to say you made it look easy, but 
you, I mean, from our point of view, you know, on the outside looking in, um, we just see the results. But as a racer myself, I, I know what you're talking about as far as the the hours that go into it. And it really is a second uh, second time job. It's a it's a it's a full time commitment off the racetrack. I can't count how many times. That's actually the reason why I took a little break was because it was, um, you know, it was such a such a demanding sport you know and i've i've been around it my whole life and i can't wait to get back into it but uh I'm, I'm hungry now but there's definitely those nights when you're you know you're working on your car it's two o'clock in the morning you gotta go to work the next day and you're like man is it is it worth it but then when you crack off a win and you you know and you're with your team then it all you know it, it all makes sense is it kind of the same way with you oh yeah for sure i mean like I said earlier, I work weird hours. Like I work on race days, you know, getting up at four in the morning and go racing, you know, I'm, I'm up, you know, 18 hours a day, you know, especially Friday and Saturday going to work and then racing. And so, I mean, we would, we wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for my team. I mean, my parents, first and foremost, my girlfriend, all my crew members, I mean, we got a lot of crew and everyone has a, has a job. So that, that way, whenever we come in, I tell them what, you know, what I, the cars are doing and kind of what they're seeing. We kind of, meet in the middle and make a few adjustments you know and then yeah. go from there and then just put the rest on me I guess you know and and everyone else you know racing everyone clean and all that stuff and just hoping to come out on top yeah you, you said it It really is a team effort and it, it and it gets so hard when it's not a team effort because you know there are drivers that literally go to the racetrack with just them and another guy you know what I mean and I've been that guy before and that sucks like it's fun but you're like you really need a team, you know, and it just proves that our sport, you know, and racing in general is a team sport. And it's cool that you, uh, that you have such a big team around you and, you know, we love the photos and uh, we can't wait to see what happens next year. What are your, what are your plans for next year? What are your goals? Um, hopefully next year we can, you know, can, can go back to back, but you know, you know, there, there's a lot of time between now and then and the off season and rule changes and, you know, you know, unfortunately, you know, there's can be some bad luck coming in and, but we hope, you know, none of that happens, but you know, next year, I think we're going to try and go because we want to track championship too. So we kind of want to go back to back with that. And then maybe like on a Friday night, maybe compete somewhere else, you know, somewhere different every night, or maybe, maybe at the same track and, you know, try and do two track championships, but you know, the, everyone's getting faster out here and uh, everyone, you know, is getting more sponsors or, all that stuff, you know, they're getting, you know, the more funds because it is, it is a very funding um, sport here, expensive, yeah. especially with all yeah. the inflammation with parts or gas or yeah. whatever. So, I mean, I, but everyone's getting faster. So, I mean, we're just gonna have to do the, do our, do our research and uh, hopefully stay better and stay on top and, you know, just have a good season. Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. Well, you know, like I said, we just want to say thanks for being a part of Team Go Parse. Thanks for being our champion. You did a, a hell of a job. And uh, we were really, you know, excited once, you know, we were pulling for everybody, you know, we don't pick favorites, but you represented the cup very, very well. And uh, your team is, you know, represented us very well. And um, we pull for everybody, to be honest. We like we, we love it when underdogs win. I know Kyle Thomas, he, he busted off a, a win there. and We were all in the office pumped for him. So we're pulling for everybody, um, all, you know, all the drivers. But, you know, you've done a really good job supporting the Go Parts brand. And uh, we want to say thank you from our company to your team and yourself uh, on a job well done. The Go Parts uh, Cup will be happening again in 2022, and that's you know that's something we're really excited about, and we want to wish you luck, and and hopefully it all it all comes together again for you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. you know. I think I you know I thank you for you know coming on board and trusting us, and you know it was very fun. You know, especially I kept watching it every week. You know, um, you know, especially watching racing with people around the world you know if I had a bad night I look to see who all gained points on me and you know it's really cool so uh, I really enjoyed it and can't wait for next year awesome cool man well enjoy your 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 trophy enjoy your your check I'm not sure which one you like more but you got them both <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> have a good one man and we'll talk to you soon go parts this is why we wrench visit us today at goparts.com